reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Haggai. On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shephel, and the high priest Joshua, son of Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord of hosts. This people says, the time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai, the prophet. It is time for you to dwell in your own panel houses, while the house, this house lies in ruins. Now thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much, but have brought in little. You have eaten, but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been exhilarated. You have clothed yourself, but have not been warned. And whoever earns wages, earn them for a bag with holes in it. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Walk into the hill country, bring timber and build a house, that I may take pleasure in it and receive my glory, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsory song. <laughs> the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. But the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord, the Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in festive dance. Let them sing to him with timbre, timbrel, and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores, adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord is the light in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord is the light in his people. Please stand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Tephrach heard about all that was happening, and he was so greatly perplexed because so were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. See others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thank <laughs> you. 
I know by way of curiosity, some of you were asking, who is this priest? <laughs> yes, this is the first time I'm celebrating Mass in your parish. I'm the parochial vicar of St. Louis Cathedral City. So, and um, as God would have it also, I'm here. Father Felix is my elder brother. He came from Nigeria to join me in the celebration of my silver jubilee. So I told him, come, let us um, celebrate Mass today here in Sacred Heart Palm Desert. So uh, you know now who is the person celebrating and the consecrating priests. So today we celebrate the feast of two twin brothers, Cosmas and Damien. They were physicians. Before the Edict of Milan, the Edict of Constantine in February 313 AD, anyone in the Roman Empire, you are a Christian, then be ready that anything can happen to you any day, you can be killed any day. And so, uh, these two brothers, physicians, they were killed in 287 AD because they were Christians. They were physicians and they practiced their profession free of charge. They treated people without taking money. And that converted many pagans into you know, Christianity. They worked in the province of Syria. They were from that area, you know, the Arabs, they were Arabs. So they were called the silverless one or the penniless one because they treated people free of charge. So during the persecution of the emperor, the regulation, they were killed. Lesson, what is your legacy? What are people learning from you? How will you be remembered? They died in 287 AD. Today we still remember them because they left a good legacy. They were faithful to the Lord. What is your legacy? What are people learning from you? What is God saying about you? And this brings me to the Alleluia just had now John 14 6 and I want you to hold on to this very firmly because Jesus said it I did not say it Jesus said in John 14 6 I am the way I am the truth and I am life in fact he says here I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me. Always remember that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth and Jesus is life. In other words, anything contrary to the will of God is not the way, it is not truth, and it is not life. Even if we hear it every day, in the media saying that it is good, it is fine, it is not. In fact, if it is a way at all, it is a way to doom, it is a way to destruction, not a way to life. Hold on to that so that you are not confused. And that's why sometimes when you are confused, it is important that you refer. What did Jesus say? Hold on to what Jesus said. Not what you hear in the media or what you hear wherever. Hold on to it so that you are not deceived. You are not confused by anybody. If you read the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 4, Paul says, Even though my conscience you know, does not bother me that I feel I'm okay, but I am not my own judge. God is my judge. In other words, don't deceive yourself thinking, I'm okay, I am fine. No. Good is good, evil is evil. And 
we human beings don't determine what is good and what is evil no god determines that and so that's why it's important whatever you do think about it reflect over it and so that you live your life according to the will of god herod killed john the baptist and now he is blessed because of what he is hearing about jesus and he's now he's being tormented oh it's john the baptist i beheaded him i killed him and what's all this i hear be good always as much as possible avoid evil if not as we get on in life it will torment us may we ask the lord through the intercession of these two great brothers twin brothers cosmos and damien that we remain faithful they were faithful to the end your endurance will win you your last they were faithful to the end and that's why we are remembering them today may we ask through their intercession that we remain faithful following the lord who is the way the truth and the life may we also ask the intercession of the, our blessed mother mary that through her intercession we will also remain faithful as she was faithful Hey